Do you have a love-hate relationship with your stainless steel? I love you. I hate you. You're the best appliance ever. You're the worst appliance ever. Shiny, beautiful, elegant, dazzling, stained, ugly, stupid, deformed, The stainless steel appliance, a high maintenance temperamental problem child that we as consumers use on a regular basis to maintain our food, cook our meals, wash our dishes, store our trash, and make our kitchen look sharp. Well today, in an attempt to keep your stainless steel looking sharp, I'm going to show you how to clean these little rascals in just two simple steps. But first, this is the wrong outfit for this video. Ah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so step number one for cleaning the appliance, real simple. Grab you a cloth, get it nice and wet with warm water, grab you some dish soap, put it in the cloth, wring it out, and what we're going to do is wipe off the appliance, get off all the fingerprints, grease, anything you'd find on the front of a stainless steel appliance. And uh, one thing to remember, make sure that you go with the grain. In this case, grain is horizontal, so we're going to go left to right and work our way from top to bottom. So let's wipe it off. Let's get all these grease and fingerprints off. Okay, so now what we need to do is just dry it. So grab you a dry cloth, get all the soap and water off. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, step number two, is polish our fridge that we just got done cleaning. I've used different homemade concoctions like one part uh, rubbing alcohol, one part water. I've never been able to get it to work personally for me. In order to really get a stainless steel appliance shiny and polished, I have to use chemicals. Those chemicals are Zep Stainless Steel Polish and Cleaner right here. To me, this is the best polish and cleaner for stainless steel there is. Another alternative to that is Wyman stainless steel. You can also get this in wipes, like little cloths. The only thing is they're a little bit more expensive than the can. But both of these work really well. This works better than this though. Um, another thing to keep in mind, don't use anything abrasive when you're cleaning and polishing your stainless steel, like metal sponges, stuff that could scratch your finish, because that will scratch your finish. I also have seen people put uh, stuff like baby oil on their stainless steel. You can do what you want to do. To me, I don't care for it that much because all you got to do is walk up to it, go like that, and you leave smears. It's real easy to get fingerprints on stainless steel when you put baby oil on it. So I use this stuff. So let's do it. To use this cleaner, we're going to spray it on the surface and we're going to let it sit for one to two minutes. Then we're just going to take our cloth and wipe with the grain, work our way from top to bottom. Let it sit for one to two minutes. One to two minutes is up, let's polish. Bang! She's a thing of beauty, isn't she? So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. By applying these two simple steps, you can ensure that your stainless steel appliances stay clean, shiny, and lustrous.